think Bluetooth is just a harmless wireless standard you use to connect to your portable speakers and earbuds? Think again. I'm Scott Schober, and this is your two-minute cybersecurity briefing. Hidden Bluetooth skimmers are popping up all over the U.S., hidden inside gas pumps, and where Bluetooth skimmers are, cyber criminals are sure to be close by. But how do thieves get Bluetooth skimmers into the pump without getting caught? These cyber thieves typically pull up late at night, usually with a small truck or trailer to obstruct their view from any security cameras. They might also have accomplices distracting the gas station attendant while they install the skimmer. Older gas pumps use universal locks with master keys easily obtained on eBay for only about $10. And while some gas station managers have been attempting to thwart tampering by covering up door seams allowing access to the pump innards with tamper-proof seals, thieves have begun creating counterfeit stickers that fool even the people that originally applied them to the pumps. Once the pump is unlocked, they can quickly plug their $100 Bluetooth skimmer into the connector on the back of the credit card reader. They then place the skimmer back into the rat's nest of ribbon cables that were already there, so it blends right in. The process can take all of about two minutes for a nimble thief. A more thorough thief will stake out the gas station along major highways with little to no security cameras, but most thieves tend to favor fast returns on an easy investment. From there, collecting credit card data from thousands of unsuspecting travelers is simple matter of connecting to their Bluetooth device planted within the pumps. These devices are homemade in appearance because most are assembled by hackers and sold on the dark web. Since the devices are transmitting throughout the day, the only thing they require is a nearby thief to receive the data and possibly an eventual battery change. However, many skimmers tap into the pump's internal power source for uninterrupted power. Some thieves go one step further and add insult to injury with pump and dump schemes that use the stolen credit card data to purchase hundreds of gallons of gasoline at those same stations. This double whammy hits both consumers and gas stations where it hurts. Unfortunately, the problem is not likely to go away anytime soon as it's expensive to upgrade the more secure chip and pin readers for all of the station's pumps. There's also little motivation for gas stations to upgrade since credit card liability laws protect consumers and station owners in the U.S. We all pay in the end, but this will eventually begin to shift as credit card companies will begin requiring gas station owners to use newer chip and pin readers by October 1, 2020. This trend will continue to grow for the next few years, but is there anything we can do about it now? When you pull up to the pump, Scan your surroundings to see if any suspicious characters are sitting in their car within 100 feet or so, possibly with a laptop. Check the pump before inserting your card into the reader. If the plastic bezel looks slightly off or discolored, don't insert your card into that pump. If there are any security tamper-proof stickers that have been visibly broken or covered up, don't insert your card. Choose a pump that's closer to the attendant. These are less likely to have a skimmer placed inside of them. And whenever possible, fill up at a trusted gas station so you do not end up at an unfamiliar station with an empty tank. And when in doubt, pay by cash. Monitor your credit card statement regularly and report any questionable transactions immediately. There's approximately 150,000 plus gas stations throughout the United States. So cyber thieves have their work cut out for them. As fast as law enforcement agents can find and remove skimmers, thieves will find new pumps to plant new skimmers. Stay safe.